All right, now we're going to take a look at factoring polynomials in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And an example of that is 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. Now, this is different from the last method that we looked at because previously we had trinomials that just started off with x squared. There was no other leading coefficient. When we have a leading coefficient giving us something like 2x squared or 3x squared or 7x squared, this is different than the method that we looked at before, and we can't use unfoiling on that. We need a new method. And in fact, there are two different methods that we can use to factor trinomials in this form. In this video, we're going to look at the first of these methods, which is the AC method. In the next video, we're going to look at the other method, which is called trial and check. Now, different instructors have different preferences. Some instructors only teach the AC method. Some instructors only teach trial and check. Some instructors teach both methods, but usually lean on one method more than the other in their class. And so what you learn in your own math class might be different from what someone else learns in a different math class. And it's important to keep that in mind. I'm going to do the AC method in this video, but you may have never seen this before if your instructor prefers trial and check or vice versa. So let's talk first about the AC method. The AC method has several steps and I want to go through these right now. First, we want to multiply the leading coefficient A and the constant term C. So in this case, the leading coefficient a is 2, and the constant term c is negative 12. And if we multiply these together, a times c is 2 times negative 12, which is negative 24. Once we've done that, we want to find two numbers whose product is a c and whose sum is b. So we want to find two numbers whose product is negative 24 and whose sum is b, which in this case is 5. So we need two numbers whose product is negative 24 and whose sum is 5. The nice thing about this is we've already played this game before. When we were using unfoiling, we were looking for two numbers with a certain product and a certain sum. So at this point, we should have good practice with this, and we should be able to see that those numbers are going to be positive 8 and negative 3. They multiply to negative 24 and add up to 5. Then we rewrite the middle term as two terms using the two numbers you found as coefficients. So we're going to take this 5x and we're going to split it up, we're going to keep the 2x squared out front, and then we're going to rewrite 5x as a sum of two terms with these numbers as coefficients. So we're going to write it as 8x and then minus 3x, or plus negative 3x, and then we still have that minus 12 in the end. So what we've done is we've taken 5x and rewritten it as 8x minus 3x, and we know that 8x minus 3x is equal to 5x, so those are equivalent. And why is this helpful? Well, now we can factor by grouping because now we have four terms instead of three. The AC method allows us to take a trinomial and rewrite it so that there's four terms, but particularly in the way that grouping is going to end up working. So let's finish this by grouping. For the first group, 2x squared and 8x share a 2x in common. And when we pull that out, the leftovers are x plus 4. Then in the second group, negative 3x and negative 12 have a common factor of negative 3. And when we pull that out, again, we have x plus 4 as the leftovers. Now our last step is to pull out the GCF of the two groups, which is x plus 4, and then in parentheses put the leftovers 2x minus 3, 
And this is our final answer. Let's do another one so that we can get a little bit more practice with this and get comfortable with it. Let's factor 15y squared minus 13y plus 2. Again, we start by multiplying the leading coefficient a and the constant term c. a times c is 15 times 2, which is 30. And then b is negative 13. It's the coefficient on y. And we need to find two numbers whose product is ac and whose sum is b. So we need a product of 30 and a sum of negative 13. Those numbers are going to be negative 10 and negative 3. So now we can rewrite the middle term as two terms using the two numbers that you found here as coefficients. So we're going to keep the 15y squared. And instead of negative 13y, we're going to write negative 10y minus 3y and then plus 2. And then finally, we can finish by grouping. In the first group, those terms share 5y. And when we pull that out, we're left with 3y minus 2. And then in the second group, the only thing they have in common is 1. But we're going to pull out a negative 1. Because if we do that, that leaves us with a positive 3y and then a negative 2, which is what we need so that the two groups contain that same factor. Then we pull the GCF from the groups out front, 3y minus 2. We put the leftovers in another set of parentheses, 5y minus 1. And this is our final answer. I really like the AC method because it relies on a strategy that we've already learned. This whole idea of finding two numbers with a particular product and a particular sum. At this point, we've done that several times with the unfoiling problems, so we should be able to do it for the AC method. And then also it relies on grouping, which is another thing that we already have practice with. So this reinforces some of the things that we've already learned and builds connections between them. That's why I like the AC method. Some people don't like the AC method because it seems a little bit abstract. Why are we looking for two numbers with a certain product and a certain sum? And if you're curious about that, you can watch the next video where I explain a little bit about why the AC method works.